remember we met. I can tell. Hi guys, so today we are doing another video and it's going to be my fragrance collection. So I have about 20 or so perfumes that I have collected over the past year because I have become a perfume junkie over this past year and I wanted to share them with you guys. Um, I'm kind of going to go in an order of kind of my most favorite uh, to more of my like least favorite. Um, I have no particular order like this is like number one, number two, like, you know, no particular order, but just the ones that stand out to me the most, I'll start picking up. And then the ones that I like kind of pick up less is will be like closer to the end. So, um, if you want to see what I have collected over the past year in fragrances, keep watching y'all. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to mention, and I have mentioned it in my vlog before, is the Marc Jacobs Perfect. So my boyfriend bought this for me for my birthday, um, and I am literally obsessed with it. How cute is the bottle? So it's like a really clean, but kind of sweet scent. I really, really love sweet scents. So this one, it has like rhubarb and like... Um, it just smells so so good just so clean and the way that it wears it just wears like so feminine so I really really love this perfect for Marc Jacobs and then another one that he bought me for my birthday was the Burberry Her but the Intense I do want the original but the Intense I just had to have a lot of fragrances don't seem to stay on me so I really like um, if a version comes in Intense because they last longer and they're just more intense I mean how else can I describe it but this smells just like the original just a deeper you know more sexy smell and I really really love it it's it's almost the same I just really love the intense it's a little bit sweeter and yeah so I really really love this one this is also one that he got me for my birthday last year um a new one that just um I just bought is the My Way from Giorgio Armani. I love this one. It is very sweet. It kind of smells like sweet candy to me. So I really like this one just for the simple fact that it's really, really feminine and sweet. And I just, you'll see a lot of these fragrances are going to be just very, very sweet scents. I really, really love sweet scents. That's just what I gravitate towards. Um... Also another recent is The Love by Killian Don't Be Shy. Now this one I mainly bought because of Rihanna and because everyone has been going crazy over this fragrance. I spent $240 on this fragrance, you guys, I'm crazy. But um, I, well no, because I got it during the Sephora sale. So I spent a little bit less, like I got a percentage off. But yeah, it's so strong it lasts so long like when I wore this to work one time people were like what you smell so good is that from here like tell me what that is and I was just like no no um but yeah this one lasts so long it's marshmallow orange it smells like bubble gum and I know that's like kind of weird to want to smell like but I I love it um so I received this one free um because at my job we do get a lot of perks and that is one of them so this was like um what they gave us for like our mother's day a uh, little gratis or whatever so this is Bottega Veneta Knot this smells so like like I wore this to my uh boyfriend's birthday dinner with his mom like this is just one of those scents that like is just very grown up and very just a little bit more mature but it's like addicting I don't know something about this scent is very very addicting I love this one um another one is the Gucci Guilty Intense I do mix the Marc Jacobs Perfect and the Gucci Guilty Intense all the time I said this in my vlog as well because they smell really really good together this one by itself I like it but mixed with the Perfect I love it so yeah um, one that comes in and out um, all the time from the stores is the uh, Marc Jacobs Dot. So they brought it back last uh, fall time and they have it back again right now. This one is like really perfect for the summer. It's like melons. Like it smells like beautiful, beautiful melons. And look how just cute that bottle is. I love a cute bottle. And it, um, 
yeah I love this one for like summer and yeah it's really nice and if you can get your hands on it it's only a hundred dollars that's not bad for an eau de perfume and yeah I as soon as it came in the store I bought it that same day because I was like if this I don't get to get this again and I love this smell I'm gonna be mad so I got it um this one I'm actually gonna be taking on vacation this is the bronze goddess but the azure from Estee Lauder it's kind of sweet but very very beachy like it has just like very water notes so I'm definitely going to be taking this to the beach with us um when we leave on Monday because this is just like that scent this has to go like on a beach trip this is like totally that vibe another one which was a gift from um a co-worker is the Valentino this is the Vose Viva now this one is just very very clean very elegant um my boyfriend actually when he smelled me he was like wow you smell so good so this is actually a really really good one I really want the other Valentino the Born in Roma fragrance because that one I love that smell I have recently smelled it and I love 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 that one that one's more sweet this one's just a lot cleaner more shower like more powdery which I do love those scents as well because I have the Gucci Guilty which is very powdery so yeah this one I love that one another one is the original Tiffany's perfume now this one's kind of powdery too but has a little bit of sweet um this one I don't grab as much this one is more winter time for me um but it's really really nice um and a lot of people have been loving the new Tiffany and Love or whatever, but I'm not obsessed with that one. I do like this one just a tad better than the other one because this one has like a little bit of vanilla. So yeah, this one is definitely a go-to. The Prada Candy Kiss. This is like my number one summer scent. This one's kind of powdery too, but has like um orange blossom and I don't know it just smells so good on it just smells sweet and powdery and I really really like this one the Prada Candy Kiss is definitely go-to for the summer um I bought this one because it was at my job for like $25. This is the Ralph Lauren Romance Rosé. I really do want the Beyond Romance. I love the Beyond Romance scent. That one is really really good but this one, this one is pretty decent as well. Um, the Lasting Power is okay um, but I was like you know nice way to add to my collection and it was 25 bucks so I was like I'll take it. <laughs> So obviously I have my Lancome Edol fragrance. Um, so this one, clean, chipra, floral, jasmine, um, rose, a little bit of vanilla. This one is really, really nice. Really great. I don't wear it as much as because I smell it all the time at work. So, um, but it is a really, really nice fragrance and I'm happy to have it in my collection. So, And then... For the two La Via Belles, um, I have the original and I have the Intense. So the Intense is definitely uh, more up my alley. It's a lot sweeter, vanilla, smells like kind of my more my vibes. Um, this one is really, really good too. And obviously I got them both in like gratis. So um, this one is just... I don't know not really my vibe I wear it still but it's just not ever since I smelled this one I just can't go back to this one I don't know this one definitely wins in my heart and then I have the new Kate Spade fragrance um this is just Kate Spade New York is what it's called um I got this one as a gratis for um, doing really well one day in um, sales that I had so um, the vendor gave me this one and yeah she's always giving me really really good stuff so um, I was really happy to have this one this one has wild roseberry wild roseberry <laughs> wild strawberry rose and ambro so those are the notes in that one 
And then another one that I got in gratis is the Prada Candy, the original. I used to love this scent. This was like the first kind of uh, scent that I fell in love with. Um, more higher end, I guess you could say. So yeah, have that in my collection. I had a second one, but I gave it actually to Skye just because I was like, I feel like she'll get better use out of it. I don't need two of these, so. Another one, which I was really excited to get, but I'm a little bit disappointed in the performance, is the Daisy Love. Um, I, I love the way that it smells. The performance is just not that good. It just doesn't last. It's an eau de toilette, so obviously it's not going to last, but, but I still wanted to have it in my collection because, yeah, I love the way it smells. This one is actually a discontinued one. This is the YSL Montpery Peony. This actually smells really good. I almost gave it away, but then I was like, no, 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 I'm keeping it. So um, it's just a little mini one, and this was also in a gratis that I received. And then we have the uh, Coach Eau de Perfume. So this is the original. Um, they have like the floral and the floral blush and all of that stuff. This is the original. So um, yeah. So that is uh, the Coach Fragrance. This one doesn't have a really good performance either, even though it's an Eau de Perfume. This one and that Kate Spade one, both performance-wise, not my favorites either. And then, last but not least, this was actually the first perfume that I ever, ever had. This is the Kim Kardashian, her original fragrance. Now, I don't know, you can't even see it, but like, it's still at the very, very top. I've had this fragrance of four years and I just for some reason don't really use it. It smells really nice. It kind of smells similar to the Bottega Veneta Knot. Um, this was also a dupe for the original Michael Kors fragrance because her mom is obsessed, Kris Jenner is obsessed with this fragrance. So, um, and I actually learned that from Mila LeBlanc. Um, and yeah, so she made this a dupe for that fragrance. And um, it's really, really nice. So, but I just don't gravitate towards it as much. Um, so yeah, guys, so that is my entire perfume collection. And I'm gonna keep building and keep building. Like I have so many on my list. I have, like I said, the Valentino Born in Roma. I have the Libre YSL. I have so many things on my list that I want to collect. I still need to get Jet Door and Coco Mademoiselle. Like I still have so many things, but so far i'm really really happy with all the fragrances that i have um i'm like a junkie i can't believe that i have become this obsessed with perfume over the last year but i wouldn't change it because i'm really really happy and excited and love all of these perfumes even if i don't wear them as much i still love them so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i um have to get to work on this rainy rainy day um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one Bye, guys.